Welcome to this demonstration of the Rational Team Concert Work Item Importer web user interface. The Work Item Importer is a tool that allows external data stored as comma separated values, or CSV, to be read and saved as Rational Team Concert work items. The Work Item Importer web user interface is introduced in version 6.03 of Rational Team Concert. It shares core logic with the longstanding Eclipse based import tool. Our tool for the web supports import using CSV only. The Eclipse tool supports other formats as well. There are several web only features that we've introduced as part of this release. There's a user interface to create and maintain importer mappings. There's import preview capability. And there's this capability to tag imported work items. We'll look at all of those during the demo. Some common uses for the import tool you might want to initialize a collection of work items at the start of a new milestone. For example, at the start of a new release, you may know that there's a certain collection of tasks that must be done for every release. You may import those using an import tool. You may also wish to move data from one project to another. You can export from one project and then import that data into another project area. And finally, you might want to move data from another change management product or any product really if you can export into CSV, you can then import into Rational Co Team Concert using the import tool. And those import values will be saved as work items. So let's move on to the demo. Before we explore the work item importer, let's look at the files that will be used during this demo. First, we have a file called single item no filed against.csv. This is a CSV file that contains a collection of fields to be imported into the Rational Team Concert project area. Missing from this is a, a field called filed against, and we'll talk about why that's significant during the demo. Next, we have a file called single item with filed against.csv. This is basically the same file, but does have a filed against column, which can be imported into the Rational Team Concert project area. Finally, we have a file called needs custom mapping.csv. This is the last CSV file that we'll be looking at. And in this case, you can see that the column names are dramatically different than those from the previous files. What this means is that there's going to be a level of mapping that needs to occur in order to successfully pull this data into a Rational Team Concert project area. The last file we have here is a mapping file, and it's called demo custom mapping.xml. It's, it's hard to read in this editor, but when we look at it from the demo, We'll, we'll see it expanded and it'll make sense in that context. So with that, let's move on and do the demo. I've navigated my browser to the project area where I would like to import work items. To open the work item importer, we select work items, import from CSV file. From here, we can click the browse button to select the CSV file that we want to import. I'm going to select single item no filed against. We looked at this file earlier. And I'm going to click the preview tab to see if this CSV file will import as is. We see here the preview completed with errors or warnings. So we can click the view log link or click the log link here to look at, at the errors that occurred during import. Here we see an odd error, no mapping found for column name. This odd message occurs because the, the currently specified CSV file uses tab characters to separate columns. The import tool supports tab characters, but the settings need to be properly specified on the data page. Let's fix that now. So now let's just try and click the preview button again. It looks a little different and a little better now, but we still have errors showing up in the log. Here we see that the username new user X does not exist. When it, the importer encounters a condition like that, it will try to create a new user. And so if you want to import the new user X, then you need to make sure that you're logged in as a user who can create other users in the repository. In addition, we see this other error that's a save status. The filed against attribute is not set. And we knew that because this file does not include a filed against. For this case, the project area is configured with save preconditions that prevent the work item from being saved for, for the filed against attribute. If the filed against attribute is not there, the save will fail. 
there are two different ways we can get around this. Well, one, we could add the filed against attribute to our CSV file. That way the, the filed against would be present and should import. We actually have a, a different file where we can demonstrate that. But there's another way as well. We have this option, overrule any preconditions for saving work items. And be aware that this option requires Jazz Admin's privilege. But let's try that now. I'll check the box. And what's going to happen is that save preconditions are going to be bypassed. I'll click the preview again. And in this case, it says that my preview has completed successfully. I still get the informational message to tell me that the new user is going to be imported. So it's possible to override the save preconditions and import work items without all of the required fields, but that's not necessarily the best way to do it. A better idea would be to update the import file to include all the things that are necessary for a proper save to occur. So let's try that now. I have this other file, single work item with filed against. So basically this is the same input, the same data, except in this case we have a filed against. So let's click the preview. And here we see that the preview completed successfully and we have a filed against set. We view the log and everything's okay in this case. The, another change that I'd made to this single item with filed against is change the username to a user that exists in the repository. So we don't get that informational message about a missing user. The next import we'll try requires a little bit more work. We're gonna try using this needs custom mapping. As the name implies, this particular import's gonna require a little bit of mapping in order to come into the repository properly. I know that this one actually is a CSV, so it's separated by commas. Let's just start out by trying to click the preview button. We see there were some errors in the log, and we see a whole bunch of mappings that didn't occur. We found that there's no mapping found for type, component, so none of these column headers had appropriate mappings. So what we'll do to try and reconcile that is go to our mapping tab. I'll mention one way to solve that would be to just correct your CSV so that the column names there match valid attribute names within your, your project area. But a better way is to use mappings. That way you won't have to modify your CSV files. We'll start off with a file that will upload. So you can take existing mappings and upload them into the repository. And that's what I'll do now. We see we have a file demo custom mapping.xml. And then I'll select that custom mapping. So it's uploaded it and saved it as a process attachment. In order to do an upload or a save of a mapping, you have to have the ability to save the project area. I'll select the custom mapping, and we see we have six of seven column names mapped. So we're not quite done with our job here of mapping. We have two different types of mappings. We have a value mapping and a type mapping. So we, we can map type names from the CSV file to type names in the project area, but we can also map values that are associated with that type. For example, the type we can ha in the CSV file, we have bug, task, and story. We map those two appropriate names within the project area. This informational message is telling me that I require selection. So in this case, I have incoming mappings, but I don't have values associated with those. So I'm going to select that now. We're going to uh, determine what the file against is when the admin, U, admin UI is specified in the CSV. In this case, I'll just select CRM. And similarly for server. So this gives me a valid list of selections that I can, I can select for this particular attribute mapping for the value. And we see all these other mappings have been completed successfully. What I can do then is try and preview. And bear in mind, I might as well save this. So I'll go ahead and save the updates to the repository before I do my preview. And then we'll complete the preview. Notice the preview has a refresh here. It didn't detect any, any settings changes. So I'm going to click the refresh to cause it to preview once again. And here we see that the preview completed successfully. Let's view the log. No warnings. So the mappings that we completed reconciled the, the CSV property names to those in the Rational Team Concert project area. Other operations you can do with mapping. In order to delete a mapping, you just select the mapping and select the garbage can here 
in the selection. There's also the ability to download the mapping. So perhaps you might want to use an editor to update your mapping. So you can download it by clicking the download custom mapping. And we see that we can bring that up and our mapping shows up. So we can manually edit that as well. Let's actually try and do an import and see what the results are. So in this case, we didn't just do a preview. We actually pulled the results, uh, the, the preview data into the repository and saved it. Here we have a link to view results and we see an HTML representation of the results. Bear in mind that these results only live in memory for a short period of time, approximately five minutes. So if you won't be able to, if maybe you step away for coffee or something like that, the results might be gone from memory, even though the import has worked properly. One way to combat that is to use tags. I can specify a, ta a custom tag that's associated with each record that I import. By doing this, it gives me several benefits. If, if I have a tag with each work item that's imported, I can then query it later to find out which work items were imported. If necessary, I can delete all the work items that were imported by identifying them with this tag. So this is a neat little, neat but simple feature that will help you manage your imports. This concludes the demo of the work item import tool. The takeaways that we want you to get are that you can use the preview operation and the mapping to iteratively work through the problems with your import file before actually trying the import. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.